so we have already corrected the kevas uh, in our uh, previous series okay or the previous episode we have covered how to correct the kevas now once kevas is corrected we move on to four foot adduction and hind foot varus we also continue to correct the kevas but not to a very a uh, severe degree okay so we try to maintain the supination but never pronate the foot so how do we do this we stabilize the talus by placing the thumb over the lateral aspect of the talar head and then hold the foot with the other hand and abduct it by using the first hand as a fulcrum so the talar head acts as a fulcrum or a pivot around which the fore foot gets abducted okay then we have to hold this position while an assistant puts on the plaster and then we mold according to the uh, the crevices or the arches of the foot okay so on the right hand side we see a beautiful picture the, so this picture is called the acetabulum pedis which is formed by the articular surface of the navicular and the superior and anterior facet of the calcaneum so this along with the spring ligament which connects all of these together forms what we call the acetabulum pedis and it is around this acetabulum pedis that the talar head rotates so whatever was more medial gets rotated laterally and as we correct the forefoot abduction the heel varus self corrects so this particular concept is called kinematic coupling that means when we do one movement another movement simultaneously occurs correcting both the forefoot adduction as well as hindfoot varus